But long wait times for shuttles are forcing festival goers into some dicey situations. Local 5's Evan Krugel is live outside Country USA in Oshkosh with details. Evan? Aaron, last night's accident prompted festival organizers to provide additional shuttles tonight, but many are skipping the wait lines and hitting the pavement instead. Alex Anderson saw the shuttle line and kept on walking. Way faster. I have no idea how long it takes. She's one of thousands having to find another way into Country USA after soggy conditions left general parking unusable. Organizers now have 60 shuttles running trips to satellite parking lots. Use the shuttle service. Do not walk on Washburn. Be safe. Be smart. But many say wait times are by the hour, and walking down Washburn is faster. I would rather pay um, a cheaper fee and park down on a side road and be able to walk and leave when I want to leave versus wait for a shuttle. Fox Valley Tours owner Pam Garrett heard about last night's accident and decided to give free rides all night. The thing is, there were so many people that needed help that didn't have it. They had no clue where they were going. It was, it was really sad. A lot of girls walking on the side of the road in the dark on their own, not a good thing. After last night's accident, officials closed Washburn Street to traffic. They say they may repeat that action tonight. We're gonna have to play it by ear. If, uh, if, it, if it comes out that we've got so many people that are walking again for, uh, for the pedestrian safety, we're gonna have to shut it down once again to uh, vehicles. A move to keep pedestrians like Anderson safe. Now, we just received word that Oshkosh police will be closing portions of Washburn Street in about an hour. They'll be sending pedestrians north and shuttles south. Tom Aaron, they're doing everything they can to avoid a situation like last night. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Shavin Krugel, Local 5 News HD.